Let's do some more stories. Well, Parliament is holding an emergency session following a recall by Speaker Alban Barping due to the ongoing renovation works in the main chamber of Parliament. The session will be held at the dome of the International Conference Centre. And uh, key issues on the agenda include approval of finance, financing agreements between the government of Ghana and the International Development Association. Parliament will also discuss tax exemption requests for beneficiaries of the One District, One Factory program, review matters related to the Ghana Financial Stability Fund, and consider several pending bills. Jeffrey Atipo has more. Hello, Jeffrey. Can you hear me? Yeah, Annie, I can hear you, Annie. Right. Well, all right, so take us through. I see uh, that uh, you, you are scattered all over the place. What exactly is happening? Is, is the session uh, not started yet? Well, it's been sorted. Thank you very much, Annie. But uh, I can say that the place is sorted. Everything, a business over here has uh, started. But just that uh, the speaker has suspended sitting for 10 minutes. Uh, to meet with uh, leadership of uh, both the minority and the majority uh, to discuss a few things or iron out a few things before uh, they return to the real businesses, which is, I mean, the, the, the considering of, of some, uh, um, you know, tax waivers for some companies under the 1D, um, uh, you know, initiative. So as we speak, they are on suspension for 10 minutes and they will be back. But let me say that initially the speaker has been giving some caution uh, about, I mean, this recall. Because, I mean, this, today's sitting which is happening over here at the dome of the International Pre uh, Conference Center was actually provoked by the majority leader, Honorable Alexander Afenio Markin, after, uh, you know, the House agenda on, on July 13. Now, the majority leader insisted that there are key government businesses that have to be considered and so for that matter, he petitioned the speaker, which actually resulted in what uh, is happening over here today. So all the members of parliament are currently uh, present over here. The speaker has been cautioning about this, saying that, I mean, um, members of parliament are on recess. They have to engage in their constituency, constituency uh, uh, I mean, issues, try to sort things out ahead of the December election. Uh, so for some of these petitions to be coming for members to be called, subsequently, it might have some effect uh, on the legislature. So this is what uh, the Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Kingsford Sumana Bagbin, has been uh, cautioning about. But let me say that uh, the Member of Parliament for Bolle Bamboy is, is currently with me here. Uh, Honorable, if you can join me. So I have with me Member of Parliament for Bolle Bamboy, Honorable uh, Suleimana uh, Yusuf is, is right here with me. I just want to find out from him uh, what he makes of uh, today's um, recall that is actually occurring here at the dome and what his expectations are. So let me quickly engage you. Honorable, uh, good afternoon to you. live on Metro TV. Uh, so you are here uh, to partake in today's business. First of all, uh, what is your expectation? Let me say good afternoon to our cherished uh, viewers. Uh, for me, this uh, recall is unnecessary. Uh, if you ask me, I would say it's a waste of resources. Uh, we had enough time at the last meeting to have discussed some of these issues. But I strongly believe that the leadership of the minority side failed us. And so even when we were asking them to bring the businesses that matters for us to discuss, they were nowhere to be found. Only for us to go on recess and they are calling us back. It comes with some financial implications. Of course, when we come, they have to give us our TNT. I am aware that this place that we are using today, we are going to pay huge sums of money. And I'm also aware that even as we speak, we have what we call rising. At the last meeting, we should have been paid that money. As I speak to you, government has not been able to pay. I do know that our common fund and other statutory uh, entitlements have not been paid. Interestingly, for the first time, you have government checks bouncing. A situation where government will issue a check to members of parliament, for instance, for, let's say, get fund or common fund, and then the check will bounce. That is where we have gotten to. Yet, we don't want to be very moderate in our spending. We still want to waste the taxpayers' money. That is my concern. However, we are here, and we are told that 
uh, there are two loans that uh, they want us to consider, 250 each. I think that where we have gotten to, uh, there's no need for us to overburden the Ghanaians uh, with more uh, loans. And I, as I stand here personally, I think that is not something that I want to support. We are also told that there are tax exemptions. Which tax exemptions have been with us for uh, getting to three years now? Those tax exemptions were brought in around 2022. And uh, as uh, the ranking member for trade and industry, I'm privy to all what is happening there. When these uh, tax exemptions were brought to us, the first information unofficially that I was told was that hold on to these things. Alan Chirimente is likely to benefit from them. So don't pass them. Wait uh, until he resigns, then we bring them. Indeed, when he resigned, they now brought in the tax uh, exemptions. And so today they are asking us to consider those uh, tax exemptions. The question one we want to ask is, for instance, if somebody put in a tax exemption request in 2022, and today some of them have even established, if they were to bring in materials, equipment, to be able to establish, some of them have already established, they have started operating, what tax exemptions are you giving them again? They could have come under a different heading. For instance, if you want to give them tax rebates or something else, it makes sense. But things that they have imported in, they have already paid their taxes and all of that. I give, how do you give them tax exemptions again? It baffles me. Yet they are insisting and saying that we should give them tax uh, exemptions. I find it difficult to support such a, uh, a request. I think that Ghanaians are watching us. I think that we have overburdened Ghanaians. And I think that we must be moderate in whatever we do. We are left with a few months to go into elections. We should be seen to be appealing to the people. Where we have gone wrong as a parliament, okay, we should be telling Ghanaians that we are sorry rather than trying to put more burden on them. And I think that uh, it will be difficult to support such a, a proposal that we should give more tax exemptions to uh, companies that we do know that are their cronies, belong to their cronies and their family members. I think that I won't do it. So it means that the minority is, going to, is not going to support any of these uh, considerations by the majority? Why you are here with us? And I just pray that you are able to stay true for the two days. We are told that it's going to be two days. Let's see what happens. Okay? But personally, as I stand here, I am not going to support any tax exemptions proposals. I am not going to ensure or accept any uh, more burden in terms of loans. This government has taken loan more than any other government in the life of this country. And you think Ghanaians are not watching us? Yet these people even have the courage to say that we should uh, uh, vote for them. I think that Ghanaians will not spare us if we will support such things. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so you heard the Member of Parliament for uh, Bole Bamboy constituency, Honorable Yusuf Suleimana. He is indicating that uh, he will not be interested in approving any of these loans. He will not be interested in, in making sure that a tax waiver for these companies under the 1D1 F initiative is, um, I mean, he's not going to be part of any approval. And for that matter, he's looking forward to other members from his side to also reject these approvals because it is not going to serve the country any good. Uh, we are going to be bringing you a lot more uh, from Parliament. The, currently, uh, our sitting has been suspended, but in a very short time or in a very short moment, they will reconvene and whatever happens during the debate, our viewers will be inundated. Well, Annie. thank you so much, Jeffrey, for the updates there. And just be reminded that the sitting is happening at the Dome, uh, which is at a conference center. We'll bring you some more details. Saps.